Hi, hello everyone and welcome back. It's a beautiful sunny morning today and I am following up on another Kenneth Anderson's adventure. In fact, this is not uh, of any man-eaters that he killed or anything in uh, that I'm following up today, but uh, the famously called uh, Spider Valley that he named himself. So it's somewhere near uh, Ayur actually. So uh, what I've done is I've crossed uh, Hosur while coming from Bangalore and uh, Denkani Kota now. I'm uh, out, uh, at the outskirts of Denkani Kota and I'm heading towards Ayur actually. So there's a uh, very old uh, guest house there, supposedly forest guest house there. I have visited there before uh, a few times. So yeah, so uh, where Kenneth used to stay in uh, uh, whenever he used to come uh, for his adventures in this side. And from there actually he used to enter uh, Spider Valley. He in, f he in fact had an adventure where he walked uh, through that valley all the way till uh, uh, Chinna river I guess so yeah so uh, even though I can't actually walk in that valley because that goes in, inside the forest there is a road that goes parallel to that valley and goes to a, a village a small hamlet of Kodakarai so which is also mentioned in his books so I am here now uh, trying to figure out those places one is the Ayur guest house and then uh, I'll uh, try and go through that uh, uh, village road which takes me to Kodakarai and uh, which also has a good view of uh, Gutterayan Peak. Uh, there was a guest house even on top of Gutterayan Peak also. I just climbed that once uh, before. I'm not sure if there is any permission or uh, if I can climb that today. So yeah, I'm going to go towards Ayur and uh, uh, let's see what else I can find there. This is the Ayur Ecotourism Park. Not bad, eh? So now I have arrived at the Ayur guest house. Basically they have turned this into an ecotourism zone now. So you can book lodges and stay here. But I am checking for the old guest house where Kenneth used to stay. Okay, this seems to be the one then. So this faces the forest here. So this is the guest house. Okay. Yeah, you can see the date. It was built in 1907. So yeah, this is the very guest house where Kenneth used to stay when he used to come. The Ayur guest house. It's just that now the other modern buildings come up on both sides. So there are other places to stay here as well. Fantastic. So Kenneth uh, once with his friend had come here uh, on a night adventure. So his friend wanted to go walk in the spider valley in the night. So armed with just torches and uh, without guns they decided uh, they entered the spider valley which starts just a little distance in that side I think a kilometer or so that side so they uh, had quite a lot of adventures they came across as per the story they came across elephants tigers uh, bears snakes everything so it was quite one hell of an adventure they had 
while walking in this valley in the night. Oh, it's good to know this guest house uh, is well preserved even now. <laughs> this is like what? 115 year old uh, guest house. Well, it's properly, properly old. It was built uh, during the British era, I guess. So this is how it looks inside the guest house. It's definitely being modernized inside. The overall structure is the same but it's been renovated a little bit. This seems to be a nine bed guest house here. That's a real elephant skull here. Okay, they have given some good statistics of uh, height versus age of elephants. Okay, this is male elephants and that's for female elephants. So there is a dining area here. Nice painting. And uh, there's a sort of a watchtower here. That's the old guest house. Look at the range there. And just opposite is forest. And they said they have breakfast prepared here, so I'm going to have breakfast here and then continue towards uh, Kodai Karai. So there is tomato rice here for breakfast. So yeah, now I've had breakfast and I'm now going to head towards Kodaikara now and to try and get a view of that spider valley. Entry Thank you. Spider Valley we are speaking about is somewhere in that direction actually. You can't see it from here. So I'll have to drive a little distance and then take a ride towards Kodakarai and from there I can probably see that valley. So they've made a lot of developments here. Even if you don't see a leopard or a 
bison at least you can see it on that stone well that was a joke by the way just beautiful roads for biking lovely lovely roads This is the there's a beautiful water hole here with a watchtower there. It's called as some Betla Mugilalam water hole or also called a Sami area or something like that. That's what it's marked on the maps. Not sure why so many people here today. It's relatively very fresh elephant dung. We just passed in the morning today. On, the, on that night uh, when Kenneth and uh, his friend were walking in this valley, they first came upon a black bear actually, which chased them. Luckily, his friend threw a torch at it and uh, it seems uh, the bear changed its mind and uh, ran, up, ran away. Otherwise, that was a close call he had with a bear here. Oh man, this is just beautiful, lovely roads to ride here. I'm just loving it. Thought about bear and they have put a bear. The bear appears here. It looks more like a Himalayan bear rather than uh, our sloth bears which are found here in this part. Turn here to Kodaikarai. Last time I came here several years back, this entire stretch was mud road. Now uh, seems they have made proper road here also. There is a small temple on the right side here. Yeah, that's there. We'll check it out while coming back. Hey, that's the one. That also they have improved a lot. Only SUVs could come here before that. How uh, bad the road was. So I'd come here earlier uh, in a SUV. So now they have beautifully laid out roads here. Check out the roads. Just stunning. Wow. They made beautiful roads here. Just see how calm the place is. Only the bird sounds. I mean, there's nothing else. That's the valley over there. Spider Valley, I hope there's a better view up ahead. Wow! Check this out, man. Check this out. 
they have built a beautiful I don't know if this is an anti-poaching camp or a watchtower <coughs> Okay, this is a watchtower at Kodakarai viewpoint Osur Forest Division Fantastic, they built a beautiful watchtower here for the viewpoint. Ah, it's only they have locked it up. You can't go upstairs. Ah, nevertheless, check this out, man. Wow. Wow, man. Just fantastic. Just fantastic. Well, check out the valley over there. So, that's the valley between those two hills. That's the spider valley. And the road goes next to that. What a fantastic place. And they have built a beautiful watchtower here. And over there you can see Tuluve Betta. That's the village over there. I need to visit that also sometime. So Kenneth says actually when he was walking in the valley, there's a route which goes to that village. But they entered the valley and uh, eventually went that side. This route actually even uh, joins to another village called as Kempekarai. But I'm not going there today. I'm going to Kodakarai today. But what a stunning view from here, man. What a stunning view. this was not there when I came last time uh, so it's been several years ago but uh, fantastic this is a beautiful view from here check out the road there below I still remember we could this entire stretch was mud road and we could see that mud road over there also when we were climbing up this hill. So we have a few hairpin bends, we get down to the valley here. It's so much easy now with such beautiful roads. Climbing up a ridge, there is a hill on the right side, left side and there is a valley there. And there is a hill on the right side and there is a valley there as well. So we are going on a ridge towards Kodakara. Beautiful, beautiful rocks. I don't know how many times I said that. But it's just fantastic. There's just this one stretch uh, before you reach Kodakarai. Look at this, all the trees here. I don't know, they, they, they grow very close by and they're all... Uh, they don't grow tall at all. All small trees here and they are densely packed. I remember seeing this before also. It's It's got this uh, sort of... A different feel to it actually when you're driving through this. Just check out the valley there. Just fantastic. This is a the biker's paradise, this road is just amazing. It's 
Such beautiful forests here. Just lovely. Kenneth and his friend actually they came up uh, when they were walking here in the night. They also came upon uh, a pair of mating uh, tri tigers actually. So very interesting. If you read that book on uh, a night night in Spider uh, Valley. If somebody is studying butterflies, this is just a haven, man. Everywhere there are butterflies. Everywhere. Is this a monarch? I don't know. Some butterfly. I don't know that anyway. So many butterflies. Fantastic. I have not seen any road where I come across these many butterflies. There are literally thousands everywhere on the road. This forest were lo had a lot of tigers before. In the 1930s, 40s, I actually checked at the uh, while entering Ayur. I checked at that uh, checked with that guy over there uh, at the check post, but um, he said uh, he hasn't seen any tigers out there, and there are no tigers. But I really hope he's wrong, and the tigers are coming back to this region, and they are occupying this forests, which are rightfully theirs. So yeah, we have finally arrived. At Kodakarai village. So from Ayur, this place is around, I guess, 15 to 18 kilometers. And that over there, that must be Guthera and Peak over there. Kenneth says it's the tallest peak in the region. Uh, it's around 4,500 feet or so. Well, I need to see if uh, I can find any villager who can take me to Uttera and Petta. So I'm not sure if I can find someone who can take me up that hill.